One of the hardest things that we can do as humans is dealing with uncertainty. We are not naturally good at this. And I remember talking about it in my podcast interview with Professor Lisa Feldman Barrett. Your brain's most important job is not thinking. It's not feeling. It's not seeing. It's actually to regulate the systems of your body. And everything else it does it does in the service of regulating your body. There's a technical term for this, a scientific term called allostasis, but the metaphor that I use for people is body budgeting. I highly recommend you watch that interview if you haven't. Given the level of global turmoil and uncertainty we've been facing over the past few years, I think it's important to note that this is likely to keep happening as we move towards the singularity. If you don't know what I mean by the singularity, be sure to watch my video about that. I'll put the link for you in the description below. Now let's talk about uncertainty and how to deal with it. I'm Somi Aryan. I'm a tech philosopher and the founder of the FemPeak platform, where visionary individuals come to stay in the know and ahead of the curve in business and technology. I'm super passionate about getting more people on board with Web3, investing, and financial empowerment. Please just remember, nothing I say here is financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So if you are on board, let's dive right in. In her book, How Emotions Are Made, Professor Lisa Feldman Barrett has this great concept that she calls a body budget. She says that our body has a budget, and I'm paraphrasing here, but essentially when we eat, sleep, or socialize with our friends and family, we replenish that budget. However, there are two things that deplete our body budget, and those are moving the body, like exercising, and learning something new, which is all about dealing with uncertainty. While both exercise and learning something new can be seen as a way to invest in the future, they can also get depleted when we do too much of it. This is especially the case in dealing with uncertainty. It's one of the hardest things for us to deal with as humans. It creates a lot of anxiety, and if not managed well, it can become chronic. So what can we do as we go into this new era of constant change and uncertainty, where we have to learn new ways of being and living all the time, like learning to move into agile working or doing everything online, or now learning about DeFi and crypto? We have been experiencing constant change since the beginning of this century. It began with 9-11. Then it was the Iraq and Afghanistan war. Then it was terrorism. Then it was the pandemic. And now it's Russia and Ukraine and potentially China and Taiwan. Just stop and think about it for a second. Isn't it strange that as soon as one of these news begin, we stop talking about the last one? Did all the terrorists pack their bags and go home during the pandemic? My point is that to a great degree, we bring this uncertainty upon ourselves by constantly watching the news on repeat. I was born during the Iran-Iraq war, and I still remember running down to the underground shelters with the sound of sirens. The war continued for seven years, and the death toll is estimated to have surpassed one million people, including the civilians and military from both sides. I was too young to understand, but I think one of the things that really helped me and my family to cope with it was that we didn't have a TV. In fact, we only bought our first black and white TV when I was about six years old, and soon after that, the war came to an end. Constantly tuning into the mainstream media is one of the worst things that you can do in dealing with uncertain times. You can, of course, remain informed, but you have to have the discipline not to have the news on repeat. In fact, I personally stay away from most of the official TV channels and get most of my news from podcasts or The Economist magazine, which give me more nuanced overview of what's happening. It's also super helpful to meditate, zoom out, and try to think about what is really happening. And while it's painful in the short run, if there is a way to learn lessons and create new socio-political structures to protect the future generations. And finally, there is nothing more powerful than acceptance. I'm not talking about accepting the aggressor, but accepting the reality first, and then taking a step back to think about how we may be able to deal with it to the best of our ability. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and press that like button. This will help more people discover these videos. Also, be sure to ping that notification bell so you're alerted when I release the next video. And let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. Finally, if you like what you see here, join the FemPeak platform where we have live mentoring sessions with industry experts and you can network with other visionaries like yourself.